All right, Wario Land 4. This is a game I've never played other than Corruptions. And I've been meaning to play this. It's not a terribly long game, which is cool. Um, but apparently it's very, very quality. Very high quality. And, uh, I've been excited to play this game. So I, fin I finished a bunch of stuff, and I did a poll. And the poll was, what do you want me to play? Wario Land 4, or Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. And guess which won the poll? Zelda. Uh, so, but not by a lot, by about 10%. So I decided to play this instead. So I, uh, <laughs> I love democracy. So I have to catch up on a lot of the Wario games because I've only played one. Virtual Boy Wario, Wario Land. And instead of doing two and three, which I may do in the future, I want to jump straight into four. Because this one apparently is one of the best ones. Now, doesn't this game share an engine with another game? Um, was it Metroid Fusion? Or Zero Mission? Uh, Metroid Fusion, same engine. Okay. Excellent! I love when tutorials are just written in hieroglyphs on the walls. Vinny, have you heard of the game Pizza Tower? Yes, uh, I played it. I played the, the demo of it. It's inspired heavily by this, and now I see the, the inspiration more than ever. The demo was updated. I'll, I'll stream Pizza Tower when it's fully done. Vinny, thoughts on Wario's man tits? Listen, I know I just shared my thoughts about a bunch of video game commercials, but I'm not qualified to talk about Wario's man tits. And also, they're called man Manbertsons. M Moberts? Oh, okay. Watch, watch Vinny fail a, a very simple game mechanic. Oh, I'm... I'm a dumbass. I'm pressing... the B button on the Xbox controller, which is not the same as the B button on the fucking GBA. Let's just say I'm celebrating my birthday a little bit too hard. I took a shot during the Blade Runner. Uh, mentioned in the Arctic Monkey song. Excellent! Um, so, yeah, Egyptian stuff. This game takes place in an Egyptian temple so far. Yesterday I was at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and it was fantastic. It was beautiful out. I wanted to take a day for myself to just relax, enjoy. And, uh, the Met is in the Upper East Side of Manhattan. And, uh, they had a rock and roll exhibit. So I got to see Jimmy Page's number one Les Paul. First hand. Eddie Van Halen's guitar. Um, Beatles instruments. Uh, George Harrison's Gretsch Rickenbacker. Lennon's Rickenbacker. Uh, one of McCartney's, uh, Hoffner bass. Uh, Ringo's drums. Which I... I laughed a little when I saw them. Jimmy Page's double-necked guitar that he played Stairway live on. It was- it was wonderful. Steve Winwood had a lot of stuff in the collection. And it was- it was a pretty- it was pretty great. I- I loved it. It was really, really nice exhibit. Exhibit was not there. Um, some- you know, they had Jack White's airliner guitar that he used in Seven Nation Army video. Which I was not expecting. And Annie Clark had an instrument in there. She had a guitar in there. I was happy to see that. I am a St. Vincent fan. I need to become more of one. Oh, so that's how this game works. I see. All right, you gotta go to the portal. No David Gilmore stuff. Some synthesizers. How do I like the sound design in this game? I'll let you know in a bit. But, uh, yeah, some synthesizers. Uh, The Who, their full setup. Tons of instruments from The Who. It was, it was just wonderful. I loved it. And then I went to the Egyptian wing and just... I saw a bunch of cool Egyptian stuff. And then I saw a knight. They have, like, a whole, like, fucking building. They, they, like, imported a whole, like, house from Egypt. Um, and I have to show you this knight that had, like, a cock... thing. I'm sorry, I have to show you this. This is unbelievable. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. No, it was a cod piece, but it was weird. Like, it was a weird cod piece. I'll show you. Ma Wario's Home Run Derby, Wario Hop, Wario's Roulette. I'll definitely get more into this game in a bit. I just want to, uh... I want to tell you about this stuff. Just put your Game Boy sideways. Oh, yeah. No problem. 
I'm good at this. Someone said that Egyptian temple has graffiti written on it in Greek, Latin, and French. From different conquerors of Egypt. No shit. Yeah, I love the Met. I have to go back at some point and, and explore the rest of it. I can't exit this. I'm not really- I'm not really having fun with this, no. <laughs> no, I don't want this. Vinny, need coin? Why do I need coin? Oh, I have two coin. Okay, I did it. Okay, so I found, uh, in the- in the section where they had the medieval, uh, plate mail. And- and weapons. And, uh, it was awesome. I loved it. I only kind of walked through, but then I saw this. And I was- I was a little befuddled by this. This was the only, uh, suit of armor that had this particular thing going on. I don't know why that was like that. It's a cod piece. Yeah, that's a cod piece and a half. That's no normal cod piece. That's like extra cod. Like what if, you know, you, you get like bloodlust in battle? Or what if you just want to intimidate your opponent? Huge cod pieces were a major fashion statement back then. Oh, okay. Apple bomb. Oh, that that's a dude from Mario. Where? Blast cannon. Got a blast cannon, everybody. What are you? I'm very confused. That crust face. I've seen it during corruptions. Big egg salad. Vinny, you've told stories about when you used to be a bar guy, as I think you put it, but now you drink less. Is that just your interest is less, or do you think you went too hard uh, in the paint before? Well, my friends were... They, they encouraged the bar life, and I, I liked it, because we would all have a place to meet up and hang out. I don't think I was ever, like, a huge drinker, but I liked it. Yeah, it was, it was fun for a couple years. Most of my friends don't really do bars. We, we'll meet up at a bar once every three, four months. Um, or if, you know, someone's in town I haven't seen in a while, I will grab a drink at a bar. But not the way it used to be. And also, my interest in drinking is less. I, I love the idea of having, like, a glass of scotch at night. Or, like, half a glass of scotch on the rocks. And that's all you drink. Did you ever see that skit? from, um, Mitchell and Webb. What was it? It was like, the perfect amount is two and a half glasses of wine. You go more than that and, like, you're done. Vinny, please not during this song. What is the song? This is not the music I expected from this game. But then again, WarioWare. Hatsune Miku. Snake! Have you heard about Mats Matsune Hiku? Someone said, uh, this game is beautiful and cute, and that makes it more satisfying to smash with your fat ass. Oh boy! Nintendo should, um, if they want to make some extra money, they should, um, sell Wario plushies at the Nintendo store. But, like, put, like, fart smell on them. No, they do, but they don't have fart smell on them. Why am I doing to the, this to this poor man? Vinny, have you seen the Mario Luigi Pikachu plushies, though? I have. I've seen... They don't smell. They don't have smelly on them, but... I have a, a bullet bill. I have, um, a cheap cheap. I have a blooper. I have a tingle. They sell tingle. And they pretty much sell everything. You have a pl piranha plant oven mitt? No, I have a piranha plant. Fat bots. A little soft for the anniversary. Um, <laughs> they have. Uh, oh God, how do I? How do I? How? Okay, I have a, a puppet, like a hand puppet. That's a piranha plant. You can make it talk. Oh, 
Someone said I missed a pep secret. Too late now, man. The nostalgia of playing um, something on the GBA always brings me back to Advance Wars for some reason. I missed several secret. Oh, I missed that, that wheel. You missed one purple pipe and a CD. Oh, it was a CD. Records, it's weird that records have made a comeback. Like, I saw a record store recently in, in Manhattan. I was... I was like, oh, right, yeah, there's still record stores. It's funny because, um... Kids are gonna grow up knowing what records are, but they're not gonna know what CDs are. I mean, we still kinda have... Well, you have Blu-ray. I gotta be honest, for Redbox in the future, I'm not sure we're gonna be doing CDs as much. I don't know how that's gonna go down, but... I think we might just stick with vinyl and that's it. VHS. <laughs> yeah, we'll do VHS Betamax. We'll go hipster in directions that you would not expect to subvert your expectations. I watched an interview with the Russo brothers who directed, um, Avenger film. And they're like, yeah, we like to subvert expectations. And every time someone says subvert expectations, it, it just kind of makes me laugh now. I mean, I know who to thank for that. That's still closet guy. It's kind of weird seeing Jimmy Page's number one guitar, his uh, uh, Amber Burst Les Paul, in person, because that might be the reason why I picked up guitar. Like, him and David Gilmore, but mainly Jimmy Page, I'd say, from the, the Zeppelin DVD. I was like... Yeah, it was, it, was, uh, it was a moment. I had a moment. I was like, oh, that's why I do this. Because of this stupid thing. Then he released a new album on Wax Cylinder. It's probably really expensive. If one could even do such things. Hey, my dudes! It's me, Vinny from Vine Sauce. I just released a cool album on Wax Cylinder! Release your album on blood. So, how do you- how does one play blood? I've already given so much of my blood. I didn't realize, like, my first cassette player- I don't know if I've mentioned this on stream. I might have, I might not have, but my first cassette player was old. It was from, like, the fucking 80s. And, uh, it was just gifted to me. And I would play my Nirvana cassettes on it. And for years, I didn't realize that Kurt didn't have such a high-pitched voice. It's like, Here we are now! Entertain us! It wasn't quite like that, but there was, like, a- maybe a five- 8% or so increase in the speed, and it would warble. And I thought that's just what music sounded like. I was like, wow! Music warbles. It was just a terrible fucking tape player. Vinny, do you plan on doing more psychedelic songs? Just wait for the next album. It's gonna be called Horatio Sands Taco Casino. Tranquility. I mean, Weezer released an album called Hurley, and it was just Hurley from Lost on the cover. So I want to make a, an album about Horatio Sands. Music should be on CD because you run in the game history issue of losing that history. CD because you run in the game history issue of losing that history. Has anyone ever been so far as to decide to look want more like? Gotcha. Gotcha. You have to bully. Chat's gonna call bully hunters on me. But yeah, I think they meant you should release your music on CD so you don't lo lo lose your music to history because they prefer physical mediums. That makes sense, but... Um... Yeah, maybe. I'm not, I'm not saying no. I think it's more just that vinyl is more collectible. And I like, I like uh, vinyl. So, did they repurpose this game for Samus Returns, or rather, Metroid Fusion? Or did they repurpose Metroid Fusion for this? Wario Land 4 was first. Yeah, I'm gonna miss a, a jewel every now and then. I'm gonna miss some stuff. I'm not going for a 100% completion run in this game. Jewels. I've never tried a jewel. There's, uh... Every deli has a sign now that says, Jewel sold here.
just sounds like corruptions now. Ah, oh, now that's some galaxy brain shit right there. Corrupt this game? Oh, I have. I, I've played this through corruptions more times than I've actually played the, the game. You know what this, um, this music reminds me of? Mac Marco's new album called Here Comes the Cowboy. Which, by the way, is pretty good. It's, it's a pretty good album, very minimal. Um, I don't think it's my favorite of his right now, but I, I like it. I've been hitting it hard because it's the right kind of sad. Pretty, pretty good songs. Like, there's maybe, like, uh, another, you know, s maybe five or six that are as good as the singles. Um, but the first song... I'm sorry to do this. The Rock. Oh, I had to hit The Rock. So, yeah, there's, like, five or six really good songs. Um, and I like, um, I like some of the vibe, but it, it's not, I'm not really, mm, you know, not my favorite, but there is the first song on the album called Here Comes the Cowboy, and I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. I didn't know there was a video for this. You ready? Here comes the cowboy. Congratulations, you just heard the whole song, chat. Here comes the cowboy. Now you've heard the whole song. He just rotates between those two. Three minutes of that. He goes, here comes the cowboy. And then he goes, here comes the cowboy. When I first heard the song, I was like, please let the song not change. I really hope it's the same thing for three minutes. And it was, and I was very happy about that. Here comes the cowboy. <laughs> uh, my favorites on the album are the two singles that I played, Nobody especially. Um... On the Square is really good, too. Uh, I like All Our Yesterdays, Skyless Moon. I like um, Preoccupied. Choo Choo's kind of fun. And Little Dog's March and Finally Alone are pretty good. So yeah, I like half the album. I wish there was a little more production on it. Some of the songs didn't really ever have a chance to develop. But uh, I, I just love what Mac does. I don't really give a shit, because it's just another cool Mac album. Vampire Weekend. I haven't heard of them in a while. Um, I don't have everything here. Should I look for the CD? Vinny, you have it? Oh, I do have it. I thought it was grayed out. But I'm missing one piece to the, the pizza pie of, of gems. You need the jewels. Vinny, you need the jewels. I'll do that. Sorry, memory very bad. Especially when I'm, like, talking. I don't sometimes notice things I pick up. I just take them for granted. You get the last piece after you hit the frog on your way out. Oh, that can be a thing? Oh. Oh, and they give you two and a half minutes, so it's not too bad. I was a little disappointed in the, the guitar exhibit at the Met because there was no... There was no Pink Floyd stuff. I mean, I know David's selling his fucking guitars, but maybe he could have, like, just brought one. Gums the cowboy. But who is the cowboy? Is Mac the cowboy? He's basically Flint, because the album is very sad, and if he's the cowboy, then he's the sad cowboy. We are all the cowboy. No one asks, how is the cowboy, right? Everyone asks, who is the cowboy? Watch the video and you will see the cowboy. I saw in an interview that cowboy is a term of endearment that Mac uses for people. Like, oh, hey, cowboy. Just want to... See the cowboy for a second. Excuse me, what? Comes the cowboy. What are you doing, Mac? What is this? Stop this with your fucking weird videos. <laughs> it's like a Sunday stream. It's like a game I would play on Sunday. Do you remember when I played that game where the, the thing birthed something out of its vagina and then that in itself birthed another thing out of its vagina? It's this. Are they all the cowboy? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Peter Griffin was in there. Someone said the mask was in there. Drinking out of cups. Being a bitch. Yeah, Mac is, is definitely hitting the weird videos. Like, Pond had some weird fucking videos for a while, but now their videos are a little bit less insane, I feel. Still weird, but not, not like, Mac DeMarco levels of weird. So we got a bunch of albums. Mac's album was alright. 
Gizzard album was really good. I- I- the, that album grows on me. Fishing for Fishies, the song itself, is becoming one of my favorite Gizzard songs. Just... through, like, time. I don't know why, I just- I love that fucking song. I like that- I like that Ambrose is on that album so much, too. Ambrose has got a nice voice, and he's really- he's a really nice singer, so I'm glad they threw him on that. More. Plastic Boogie grew on me quite a bit, but I, I still think real is not- real's not real, and the thing. Those are my, uh, my jam. So then we have to see if Tame Impala's album is good. Pond's album was fantastic. Noel Gallagher has an album coming out. I know that doesn't mean a lot to anyone, but... Well, some people it does. I love Noel's work. I want to see what he's got going on. Tool confirmed that they're releasing an album finally in, like, August or October. It's apparently really, really happening. Now all we need is a Radiohead album, and I'll be complete. It's been a little long. It's been, you know, kind of long enough since we got, uh, Moon-Shaped Pool. And then they did the OK Not OK album... ...after that. So yeah, it's been like three years. Which, for Radiohead, that's about right. They'll probably go, like, another year or two before releasing something. Anyone else got an album coming out this year? Red Vox? I would- that would be fantastic. I'm not gonna rush it, though. I gotta say, though, without- like, cause I kept Kerosene a stark secret, because there's- I didn't want to build up hype and expectation for it. Cause it was just a, something I needed to do. I wanted to do it. And, um... You know, that was- it was a good- it was a good recording time. Like, it wasn't overly drawn out, because there was less on it. And that was really great, that I could just put it out as soon as it was done. Uh, but... I'll tell you what. We are making really good progress. Like, just last night I wrote lyrics almost entirely to three songs. And that almost- that never happens. I think I've- I've, um... I've filled my monthly quota for acceptable amount of Redbox discussion time. So I'm gonna stop now before three people get upset. <laughs> I don't have any more for you, actually. I, if I had any more to say, I would say it, but I don't. Did the museum inspire me? Well, yeah, I mean, just a lot of stuff, man. And, and again, like, you know, birthday and, and Mother's Day and all that fun stuff. It's, it's all kind of everything. Someone said, I like the song Reno. I'm happy you like the song Reno. I like it, too. I might be biased, though. Why am I drowning this poor old man again? Alright, because he's a shit and he deserves it. When you throw the man, you can't have it hit the first thing... ...that is the wall for the blocks to activate. Oh, I see. Here comes the cowboy. Ah! Don't do that, Wario! I hit down on the control pad by accident. On the D-pad. Yes! Okay, wow, that was a hell of a puzzle. And this is only, like, level three. Well... I guess there's a choice of which level three you get. Yes! Yes! People are telling me to listen to the CDs because they're really weird. They gave the Wario games to the weirdest fucking people on their staff, didn't they? It's a cursed image. You probably put that... oh. Well, that's, that's doggo. Still, neck is moving in weird ways, but... It almost turns into something.
We wrote a song called Tomorrow's Blood Pressure. It's on our new album, Revolver. I don't- I don't know, John. You should probably change the name of it. I don't know, man. Like, there's gotta be a better... There's gotta be a better name for that. You know what I mean, John? I've got it. Tomorrow never knows. Shut up, Ringo. You git. You fucking git. It's called Tomorrow's Blood Pressure. There is a documentary, um, about John and Yoko, and, uh, it shows this rando dude that went to their house. It's a famous clip, but they, they extended it. Just some dude who thought his lyrics meant something. And he just was, like, sending him, he's like, I'm gonna come to your house. And since they're, you know, very public figures, they, they the dude came to the house. He's like, you know, someone who was not well. He was like, you weren't singing about anyone in particular when you wrote those songs. He was like, how could I have been? You know, at best I think about me or Yoko. Or like, you know, I had a good shit today. And he's like, but, but what about the song, you know, you can radiate everything you always like. It was nonsense, man. Head dash and jump at the correct time. And then he goes, well, what about, um, boy, you're gonna carry that, that weight. He's like, Paul wrote that one, but that's all right. So, he's like, you're hungry. Like, they were gonna call the cops on him, but John just invited him into his house, and they had toast. Um... Really, really, really weird. But, um... He just, yeah, he was convinced that the, the lyrics, that all the words of, of these songs meant something and were written for him specifically. How could I be? How could I be thinking of you, man? Well, How could I, I be thinking of you? I don't care me, but this all, it's all s somebody. I'm thinking about me, or at best Yoko, if it's a love song. I'm saying, you know, I had a good shit today, and uh, this is what I thought this morning, and uh, you're hungry. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. The dude was so... forlorn about that. I, uh... Yeah. He goes, you're hungry. And then he, then he gives him the food. Vinny, Red Vox lyrics are all about me, I can prove it. I will shoot on sight. Okay, I don't have anything to shoot. I have Nerf guns, but I, I... Hmm. Years ago, I bought, uh, from Think Geek, a, a zombie killing machete for like 20 bucks because I'm a fucking dumbass. And they were like, Yeah, you could kill zombies during the apocalypse! That'll be my, my stand slayer. <laughs> and I'll be like, you're hungry. And then it'll be like, fucking Game of Thrones betrayal. They called the sword in that show, Widow's Whale. Mine is Stan Slayer. Be gone. Where is that? Where is that thing? Where is it? It's gone. Oh, here it is. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. I, I guess it was also a different time though, but, you know, I, I think it's important that people understand sometimes words in songs at, you know, they didn't have video games, so there were there were less ways to occupy your time. Um, so, of course, the best thing to do was listen to your records and smoke lots of amphetamines and weeds. But yeah, I mean, a lot of songs don't mean anything. A lot of pop songs just have words that fit. I'm not claiming to be anything special, but a lot of my songs... You know, there's there's some meaning, and then some some lines are just because they sound good in context. So, and that's, you know, I scat. You know, I do a little scat, I go beep -ba -beep -ba 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 -ba. I do that, or I'll do, um... Um, if you ever change your diapers and eat your face in the Alamo. And then that'll turn into, like, something different. Someone said, Vinny, at least you weren't a prick like John was. I just threatened to stab someone with a machete if they came to my house. John fed that person. And gave him new clothes. I mean, I know what you're referencing. Fair enough. But, yeah. But, yeah, one day I'll post some of my, um... I'll post, like, a, a demo of something, and, and, you know, if we're just playing and, and jamming on it, and it's just nonsense words. It sounds like David Byrne having a fucking stroke, while also enduring a, a religious experience. But it's, it's very silly. I'm a very silly man. Very silly man. I like, um, I love, like, songs, lyrics that, um, were originally one thing. And then it turned into something else the last minute. Like, uh, yesterday, Paul McCartney woke up from a dream. 
and he had the whole melody and the lyrics, and he he sang it into uh, a little rec like a little recorder he had. And it was uh, scrambled eggs. Oh my baby, how I love your legs! It's uh, there from Gorillas was originally there. It's there, but the dude couldn't sing the word there. He would always say there, so they just changed it to there. Sexy Sadie was originally about um, a, a, a guru named Maharishi who scammed people and was not actually very much of a guru. He was like this enlightened religious leader, but he was like uh, a jerk face, and that was when the Beatles were in India. So, the song was originally Maharishi, what have you done? Like, fuck you, you cunt. It was really like that bad. It was- <laughs> and George was like, Come on, John, you've got to change it. Don't do that. People will know what it is, just change it to something. So he changed it to Sexy Sadie, what have you done? But yeah, it was, it was a cult. What do you think of Tom York's lyric writing in Kid A? Oh, I don't know. I don't know what he did. I know Bowie used to have note cards that he would just scramble and throw into the air, and then, what, you know, if they landed, there would be like a couple lyrics, but mostly just concepts and ideas. Not for every song, but for a couple albums he used that method. Vinny, what's your method? Beans. No, I- I write, um... I like to go for a walk. Best method is to go for a walk. So, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna switch to Hat in Time in a minute, but, um, am I- Would I be able to... You think, uh, the boss would take a long time? No, right? FEED ME, WARIO! There's- Uh-oh, juice! The fucking sound effect. Someone in chat just said this whole game sounds like algo music. Man, what does it feel like to die and then be reborn? Cause- cause Wario just fucking went from Zombo to real life. Oh boy! Huh. Couldn't clutch it, could I? Final boss in Sekiro? No problem. No clutch. Or very much clutch. No- no choke. No choke. I- I love that the boss laughs at me. Like, go fuck yourself. Like, seriously. Like, how- how- uh, How hard is it to be a nice plant? Stick a pipe cleaner in your, uh... What? Chat is finishing that sentence with a lot of disgusting things that I did not say or insinuate. I was... I was not going to say urethra. I was going to say something like, um, like, uh, squirt, squirt pipe. I think squirt pipe is the acceptable form, you know, colloquially. You can say that in, uh, polite society. In, uh, fancy circles. Someone said, does anyone else think the plant is kind of cute? Like, cute as in, like, oh, you know what? Oh, never mind. What? Are we okay as a race? As a species? Meanwhile, here I am making jokes about squirt pipes, and I'm asking if everyone else is okay. Yep, that's enough video games for one lifetime. Not a dab. Wasn't a dab chat. Anyway, uh, good game so far. I'm liking it. This is turning into a very chill stream. Um, stressful chill, but- but still- still pretty chill. I, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of it. I hope the game saves automatically, but if not, I'll make sure that that happens. Um, yeah, it's just one of those- those games I missed. Some would say it's a gem. Hidden gem. Even though it's not at all hidden. There are gems in the game, though. Yes! Alright, so last time I did, uh, Emerald Passage. And again, this is my first time playing through this game. And I've enjoyed it so far. Also, this is, like, factory. I get real nostalgic about the Game Boy Advance. There's something about those chunky pixels. It just brings me back to so many good games. I said Advance Wars was one of them, but obviously the Metroid games. Minish Cap. Even the sound chip, which is a little bit... Well... Just the quality of it. The, the chip itself, like, some of the sounds are cool. Mother 3's soundtrack is obviously amazing. 
Gotta do a tier list for, um, Game Boy Advance games. Vinny, do you think you regret waiting so long to play Mother of Three? No. No, it was the right time. I'm just glad I played it eventually. Also, this is, um, a better game than, uh... ...than Wario Land Virtual Boy, if that wasn't incredibly apparent. I've already noticed that. Virtual Boy Wario Land was pretty good, though. Someone just wrote, Streamer, please move on to Odin Sphere. Thank you. Let me see if you got any other chat messages. Nope, that's the only one. I'm more inclined to, um, when I see a name I've seen around for a long time, and they're like, Vinny, please play DMC2. I'm like, haha, funny japes. But sometimes I'm like, wait, I think they're serious. Like, I think they want me to, like, stop playing the one game I'm playing now and move on to the very specific game that they like the best. It happens. I mean, again, I'm no longer surprised by much. I'm not upset. Fuck. No, I, it's fine. I mean, you can request... Re, you can request... request all you like. So what's Odin Sphere? It's like DMC2. It's an action JRPG. Oh, someone said it was like DMC2. Vinny, can you please play Wario Land 4? Thanks. That's about the only request I can grant tonight. That's a good request. That's a good crust. Shin. Vinny, can you play Oppai Nurse 3 Hardcore Edition? Is that real? Violent Semen Inferno. You want me to play that? Like, why do I even bother putting away the bottle of scotch? That game is actually banned on Twitch. There's a lot of games banned on Twitch. Again, Second Life, which is barely a game, is banned on Twitch. I'm sure you can stream it on, um... One of the, the competitors that Twitch is currently, uh, battling. Like, um, Shitbox. I absolutely did not mean to do that. Come on, move your ass! I'm probably missing a whole assortment of hidden... of hidden items. How are you so good at this game, Booty? I've never seen! There was a Star Trek Deep Space Nine documentary that was in theaters for one day only today, and I, I remembered to go see it until I forgot today. In theaters only at 7 p.m. for one day. It'll be released on, like, DVD and Blu-ray later, but... It's, uh... It, something I was really excited about. It's like, uh, they restored like 20 to 30 minutes of, uh, Deep Space Nine footage, right? It's like HD. And they just talked about the show. I really hope they do a whole renovation of that show. Not renovation, remaster. You know what I'm talking about, remaster. Restoration, yeah. I think it would cost a ton of money, and, and I don't think they think they can make it back. I don't think they... Whoa. I believe that they couldn't make it back, and they know they couldn't. Also, they'd have to redo all the effect shots, because the, um, the special effects in the old Star Trek shows... Like, you can't transfer those over, I think? So, in- when they redid the original series, they had to, like, actually get in there and redo, um, like, the- the effects of the Enterprise and any exterior shot. And then they did the same thing for the next generation, but I think they restored some of that footage. Anyway, this is Sunday Stream the level. Little monkey felt throw. Oh! Give me the fruit. Unit. Hey, chat. I'm uh just curious about something. I'm not a doctor or a professional, but I'm just wondering. If you get stabbed multiple times in the stomach, and then you swim through a, a sewer... ...and then you just, like, say, rest for a day or two... ...you're probably fine after that, right? You die. What do you mean you die? That, no. Arya didn't die. Oh, never mind. What about if you get stabbed more than 99 times, but less than 100? This game is silly. Oh, you can just swim without taking damage. I thought the sewer was just stinky, toxic water. It's not. Yeah, Wario's immune to, like, um, piss and shit and vomit water. This is what his apartment looks like. That would be a cool game. Like, Luigi's Mansion, Wario's apartment. Or actually, wasn't that Waluigi? Waluigi had an apartment, right? And then they both got one together and lived happily ever after. 
So that clip kind of went a lot of, um, a lot of places. I've been informed that the clip of Wario and Waluigi making out from last night has nearly 40,000... Yeah. Awful. Why would you promote that? Why would you spread that? Because it's funny. What's funny about Wario and Waluigi making out? I need a 13-page essay, otherwise I'm not ba unbanning your Fallout 76 account. Someone said, why would you stream that? The truth is, I just didn't know what it was, what, it, what I was getting myself into. It was, it was a J- That's what Sunday stream kinda is. Even if the collections are vetted, and they are, mostly, there's still some poo that gets through. But yeah, last night was probably in the top ten worst Sunday streams I've done. I don't really care. I'm fine with it. All the, uh, the CD-ROM stuff was good, though. That was... both terrible, terrifying, and kind of good. Well, not good, but it was funny. Now, again, everyone's saying, Vinny, you literally say that every Sunday. And fair enough, I do, but... There becomes a time... There comes a time when there's a Sunday stream worse than the other ones. Vinny, you say this every time you acknowledge that. This time... You're right, I do that, I do. But, but, this time, I double-dog mean it. You know why Wario games are popular and why they sell? I think I figured it out. Sex appeal. So I'm gonna need a combination of both Arya, Arya Stark, and Wario, called Waria. And how one can swim in the sewer after receiving multiple lacerations and the other can't. Don't actually do that. I, I already saw a fucking... An Aria Varus combination that was just nightmare inducing. Gods, I was strong then! Fetch me the breastplate stretcher! <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable? What is my favorite vegetable? I, I have several favorites. I, uh, crispy asparagus is pretty good. That's just the first one that comes to mind. Not my favorite though. Broccoli? Yeah, I love broccoli. Um, Bobby B. Garlic? Yeah, I love garlic. Brussels sprouts? I, I know. Yeah, we talked about the vegetable thing a little bit here and there. I don't like butternut squash. Don't like it at all. I like, uh, summer squash or whatever the fuck that shit is. Zucchini. Someone wrote uh, a little while ago, I see you hate everything about GOT now. No, 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 I love the books. I love the first several seasons. Absolutely love them. This isn't just bandwagoning, it's just me making a decision. No, the internet told me not to enjoy myself while I watched the show last night. And so I didn't, and I wouldn't want to dare betray the internet. There was a rumor going around that, uh, George was waiting on the books. Until after the show was over, for some reason, to spite David and Dan or something. And it was going around, everyone's like, oh, when the show's over, George is gonna drop the last two books, they're, they're already done. And he wrote on his blog today, he was like, nope, not done! Game of Thrones is that really long porno with fantasy and politics sprinkled in, right? That's what someone said in chat. See, as much as I hate the last season so far, I will defend the show and say that it is some of the best TV I've ever seen in the first couple seasons. So no, I know that's a, it's a good joke. I like that joke. That it's it's a porn. It's an elaborate porno with fantasy scenes, but they really move away from a lot of that later on. I know that's hilarious. It's just the reason why I care about this is because it brought me so much enjoyment. I was like, again, really into it. I like fantasy, Lord of the Rings. How many times have you heard me talk about that? But now I'm just like... I don't know what's going on, man. What's your opinion on the rumor that George will work on the next FromSoft game? I heard that rumor. I guess I'd be down for it. Um, I know if thing gets too big and, and people aren't into it, they immediately dismiss it and the creator, which has happened with Game of Thrones because it gets annoying and it's become very, 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 very mainstream. And children are naming their daughters Khaleesi and Daenerys. Ooh. But, um... Did I say daughters? People are naming their daughters Khaleesi and Daenerys. Anyway. But, uh, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, George R. R. Martin is, is a fantastic writer. And, uh, I, I really enjoy his writing. I mean, he's not writing Game of Thrones, he's not writing Song of Ice and Fire anymore, so you may as well have him do the FromSoft game. He's probably not busy. People watching GOT at bars is surreal to me. Well, that's the other thing, too. It, it became, like, like sports. I realized this the other day, I was like, there are people who are watching this shit like it's football. 
Everybody expects me to be into GOT, but I'm so, so bored of it. You don't have to like anything you don't want to. Remember that. Just like that person who told me, Vinny, you need to stop watching mainstream TV. They told me to watch more documentaries. I've been watching more documentaries, actually. I watched one about uh, The Price is Right and how some dude had the perfect answers. I did. I watched one about John Fucking Lennon. Um, but there was this dude in, in, uh, fucking, in The Price is Right, who memorized the prices of almost every item. And he built himself a little, like, game with a spreadsheet. And he had, like, a photographic memory for this shit. And he would help out people in the audience, and people were getting suspicious of him. And someone ended up getting, like, an exact bid, uh, during Drew Carey's run, and it turned into, like, this big investigation, kind of. Not an investigation, but it was like, do we- what do we do about this? So they had to, like, change up their games. He actually ended up not winning as much on his own run, but other people won. Vinny, maximum vine blind? What did I vine blind? Pipe? Oh, okay. Yeah, I unlocked the pipe and then I was just talking. I was like, oh, I don't want that now, do I? Guess I did. Vinny, what's the best mockumentary? Um, I'm partial to Spinal Tap, but my current love for what we do in the shadows might overshadow that. Maybe a little bit, but Spinal Tap is like one of the first, if not the first, and it's it's still probably... Still probably my favorite. <laughs> Vinny, you saw the movie before the series, right? Yeah. Vinny, someone has probably named their kid after you. It, it has happened. I, I've received an email about it at one point, and I just summarily ignored it because it was too weird for me. It's also a pretty common name. It's not like they're naming their child Kal, K-H-A-L, which is a title, by the way. Did they name it Vine Sauce? No, they named- they named the child Vinny. Frequently, people tell me they named their pets, uh, Vinny. Which, I mean, have fun. Everyone- everyone's gonna think they're in the mob. Oh, hey, Vinny! How you doing? It's also, you know, a very common name here, but it's rare online, so people frequently say I'm the only Vinny that they've ever met or spoken to or know from the internet. And over here, it's like... Yeah, it's super common. But, um, it, it always goes back to the mob thing. Or like, oh, you must like pizza. It's like, how dare you be right about that? I, I absolutely do like pizza and pasta. I like to make the thing with my fingers, the Vitalian. You know what else I like to do? I like to have the moon hit your eye like a big a pizza pie, because that's amore. Do you like jumping and going down pipes? I certainly would if I could. Seen any pipes lately? Why does Wario have elf ears? Swimming in sewage, I guess? Vinny, I found a funny Lord of the Rings meme. Can I send it to you? <laughs> How about this? Okay. I want you to do me even one better. Just describe it to me. I got your chat open, so I can see your messages. Just to tell me what it, what it's like, and I'll let you know if it's good. You can describe a meme. <laughs> I'm sure you can. You, right? It's Frodo riding a scooter, and the caption says, When you destroyed the One Ring and brought lasting peace to the realm. And he's smiling. Alright, yo, tw send that to me. I'm gonna need- send that to me. Hmm. How do I get the other shit over here? Oh, regular rolls. Right, 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 right. Like a duck roll. You gotta use your, your brain when you play this game. You can't just mindlessly fuck about. This game is, is clever, and I'm not smart enough for it. With the snow, you can jump down? Oh, down there, right, because there's a little thing there, okay. Was, they're, they're very bad. Again, clever game. Not so clever streamer. Now I'm regretting not going in that fucking pipe. I thought the pipe was the way out. I thought this was the secret. Purple pipes are bonus rooms. So there are always bonus rooms then. Anyway, Frodo wouldn't have been happy in riding a scooter. Like, I'm still very curious about this Mei Mei, but... The point of it was that, you know, he, he was scarred for life. By the ring raids, by the, the carrying the ring. And there's always pain, even though he tried to get back to normal. You know, the Shire, when they get back, fucking Saruman was there, waiting for them. It's not in the movie, but the scouring of the Shire is... 
a very good subversion of expectations in a way that you didn't really expect because the hobbits then have to realize that no one's going to protect them. They have to protect themselves. So they use all that they've learned throughout the story to um, eliminate, well, to remove Saruman and his, his cronies, his sickos from the Shire so that peace can return at least for a while, and then, you know, Frodo has to sail off to the Grey Havens because the pain of being a ring-bearer is so great that the elves say, you know what, Frodo? You bow to no one. You earn this. Then is this legit, or are you having a go? No, this is real. I get why it wasn't in the film. The scouring of, Shire, of the Shire would have been too... I think it would have been too anticlimactic. It would have been, like, confusing for audiences. It works really well on a literary level, but I don't think it would have worked as well. In, uh, in a film. Extended edition, though, that would have been nice. If they filmed it for the extended edition. They had like 17 endings already without that, so I get why, but there is, you know, that was what Tolkien was trying to do with Frodo, was to show, and not just him, but the rest of the Hobbits, that, yeah, I mean, they saved the world, but at what cost? And, uh, it was, it's really bit it's bittersweet in the best sense of the word. What did it cost? Everything, my child. Oh, I like this level. You know why? Because it reminds me... It reminds me of my favorite hobby! So, uh... Adam Sandler... I have a question for you. I got it. Here we go. Now, here's the thing. The difference is, it's not Frodo on a scooter. It's Elijah Wood. Now, I like this. It's not... I don't know if this is a meme. It's not particularly funny. But it's kind of cute, because he's, he's smiling, he's riding a scooter. I just want to say that it's kind of weird seeing Elijah Wood grown up, especially with a mustache. But uh, thank you for that meme. I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. That was all right. I'll take it. Wasn't he like 30 in Lord of the Rings? No, he was, he was like 19. I think he turned 19 when he first started filming. And then um, he was like 23 or 4 when they stopped doing pickups years later, and then he was like 30-something in The Hobbit, and he ended up playing Frodo again, and looking still kind of young. This is a really... <laughs> this is a really bizarre level after that last one. Talk about fucking tonal whiplash. In a good way, though. This game has more variety than I thought it would. Speaking of memes, uh, did anyone send you the Mandalore Gaming interview with Sean Astin about who was better at video games? Yeah, he can make controllers levitate with his mind. That's what he said he could do. So chat, what do I want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I have the day, and I want to spend some time- I want to do something nice for my birthday. Even though my birthday was yesterday, I didn't do anything for it. Do I want to see Detective Pikachu movie? Or do I want to go back to the Metropolitan Art Museum and check out more Egyptian stuff? Because I didn't get a chance to see floors 2 and 3, I only saw floor 1. Which is not nearly enough. Why not both? No, I can only do one thing per day. Pancake bread. Oh, I was supposed to get pancake. Alright, never mind. It's pancake bread and Pikachu, so I'll do two things, thanks. Pikachu, pancake bread, and then I have to do some actual, like, things. The trip into the city is, is dark and full of shadows. It's a very, very annoying trip, especially near rush hour. Wow, this is... This is a hell of a... a hell of a thing happening right now. Wow! Vinny, do you like stand-up comedy? I do. I saw some, some really good ones. I saw Hannibal, Chris Rock, um... Joey Diaz. He just talked about his dick a lot, and, uh, his farts, and, uh, <laughs> Eric Andre, the same night as those others. Chris Rock was great. He still does stand-up. I don't think he's trying to do, like, giant HBO specials anymore, but he still does it. Alright, dog. Dog, I'm gonna tell you about the time I went into a club and pissed on someone, dog. Eric Andre's humor is very specific, and... I know it's become like, let me in! And bird up, and ranch, legalized ranch, and all that stuff. It's like, you know, memes, but... His stand-up was pretty good, until he ran out of material. <laughs> there was a distinct lack of confidence halfway through his set. And I was like, oh... And then he just started, like, touching the wall a lot at the Comedy Cellar. 
Or, yeah, I think it was the Comedy Cellar. Or Gotham? I forget which one it was. Caroline's, Caroline's. I, I don't know if it was part of the act or if he was on psychedelics during the uh, performance. Definitely on purpose for him. Yeah, he was good. I'm not saying he was bad. It's just, again, his, his humor. It was a little less crazy randomness when compared to the show. It was more... It was good, and I liked the show. But it, it felt more like, um... Yeah, like stand-up. It was just like stand-up comedy. Vinny, would you do stand-up? I've talked about this on stream, I think. I'm not funny. Believe it or not, I'm here to tell you now in case anyone does think I'm funny. If, in case anyone's fooled and has, has misconstrued uh, Vine Sauce's entertainment since 2010. What I would do is, yeah, I would just like, it would just be duck noises. Someone said Vin has pretty bad imposter syndrome, to be honest. <laughs> yes, I do. But no, I, I have always loved, I've always liked stand-up and I've always wanted to do it. Um, I've always wanted to do it on some level, and when I do panels, that's kind of fun for me, because it almost feels like that. I do feel pretty confident with a microphone and, and talking, you know, into a group of people. I just don't think I would be funny enough to do actual stand-up. And then again, like, you have to hone your craft and you have to really, like, put the work in. Like, the only way to get better at stand-up is to do more stand-up, which means you have to bomb. A lot. And just, you know, keep going, keep doing it, keep going, keep doing it, and then eventually... ...you might get okay at it. And even then, making a career is tough, and then you'd have to travel all over the place. I'm a homebody as well, so... I don't think I could do it. And I appreciate that people are nice enough to say, Oh, you're pretty funny, Vin. That's cool. No, no, no. That's a whole different skill. I don't have that. And then writing material, that's not something I do. I might tell you guys about something that happens throughout my life, throughout the day. And I can maybe come up with like a little bit or a punchline of some sort, but... Thank God, you know, I don't have to come up with an hour or four hours of fresh material every night. I mean, even for a stand-up act, for like a special, you have to do an hour. It could take some comedians up to a year to create a new hour. Vinny, do your classics. I don't remember a lot of the bits that people like from the streams over the years. Like, I know I've had some good setups and punchlines here and there, even if accidentally, but I don't remember them. No, Spin isn't a joke. <laughs> no, I mean, how dare you take Spin as a joke? That's just deadly serious. It's just a, it's just a word. Imagine me going on stage at Gotham Comedy Club. All right, and we got Vinny on. Vinny Vine Sauce tonight. First time doing stand-up. And, uh, oh, you don't know who he is? All of you? Okay, well, you're in for a treat because this guy, he's got an audience on the internet. You're gonna love him. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Spin! Crickets. One person high as fuck is probably going mental in the audience. They are very much appreciated. The guy on drugs is definitely gonna spin. And then, Vinny, you're doing a bit right now. There you go. I guess it is a bit. Mistakes into miracles, I guess. Someone just wrote a bit insane. Get on stage and do the depowering Arnold voice. Now, I should go to Saturday Night Live. And I should say, hey, I would love to be a cast member on the show. You know, like Kyle started out, Kyle Mooney started out on YouTube. Alright, alright, um... Well, Vinny, uh, what do you have for us? What? Well, Lorne, this one kills. You're gonna love it. Okay, what is it? Well, let's uh, let's let's see it. What's what's your act? Okay. Okay. Jamie, it's me, your father. I I need the cookies, or I am losing power. Jamie, I need the cookies. I need them. Okay, no, no, no. H hang on a minute. This... Th what do you think this is? You dare defile the sanctity of Saturday Night Live headquarters? Keenan, take him out. Why is he Dr. Evil? No, no, no. Why is Dr. Evil Lorne Michaels? Lorne Michaels is the dude who uh, runs Saturday Night Live. And he sounds a bit like that. And Mike Myers based the voice of Dr. Evil on him. So there you go. No, no, that's not Japes. It's not Japes. 
That's too mundane for a good jape. Vinny, are you going to play Rage 2? No. You know, I have to think about that for a second, because I've had people request Rage 2 a little bit, and, and I like I guess I like shooting games that are dumb. But I'll be real with you. I don't really I don't think I'm interested at all. It's open world doom. Vinny it wishes it was. That's being generous. Someone just wrote, but the PR manager for that game is zany. They tweet wacky stuff. Yo, they tweet wacky stuff? Let me ask you a question, son. Do they... Do they do like Wendy's do? Because Wendy's, man, them spicy chicken nuggets... They do, do some hilarious things with those. I gotta, you know, I gotta give them... I gotta give them credit. Wendy's figured it out better than almost any... Any other corporation. Because it works on people. It does work on people, and people do think that Wendy's is just like their bra. Like, and Wendy's like, why don't you Netflix and chill with Wendy? Get yourself some spicy chicken McNug while you're at it. Oh yeah, and then, it, that's the other thing too, they're, they're just very snarky. Yeah. They just, there's a lot of snark. And then they like, uh, they throw shade at other, like, fast food, uh, places. I'm not really sure what else to do here. I, like, I'm yeeting these things, but... Oh. Well, that explains it. Lots of hidden blocks. Uh, this is a kind of- I like the... the relaxing nature of this level compared to the other ones. It's like more puzzle solvy and- and ye your yeet powers are, you know, put to great test. Put to the test, but at the same time, I, I don't think this is one of my favorite levels. So far. Like, I like the gorillas in the background. Those are- those are pretty cool, I guess. Once you start looking for hidden stuff, it becomes kind of fun, though. Hello, Vinny. Are you at all interested in watching the HBO miniseries Chernobyl? Hello, HBO ad executive. Well, um, I hope my check is in the mail, because I've already mentioned that show, HBO's Chernobyl television show, uh, about three times tonight. And, uh, the answer is yes, I might be checking it out soon. I'm interested in said show. Especially considering that HBO's cash cow is coming to a close in a very disappointing way. Jokes aside. A joke, I say. But no, I, I'm actually- I'm gonna watch it tonight, probably. I was gonna watch The Matrix, <laughs> for some reason. Just because I haven't seen it in a while, I'm like, wait, man, this movie's still good, right? Like, it- yeah, I've seen it so many times, it's gotta be good. I'll probably just watch that instead. Probably because of The Matrix 4. Oh yeah, the, we were talking about Matrix 4 potentially happening. Oh, I wanted to give a quick thank you. Uh, several people sent me, uh, some birthday stuff. I- I- We'll take a picture of it all. Um, I already mentioned some of it, like the frog car and the crab, but today I went and I got a duck. It's a pretty cool duck. I got a chrono trigger clock. I just slurred that word by accident. I was it's like I'm drunk, I'm not. Um, maybe tired. Yeah, chrono trigger clock, very nice, thank you. And what else did I get? I got... So... Look, so there's a duck chrono trigger thing, and then there was one other thing. Oh, a trash game for a Sunday. Which isn't very much of a birthday gift, but I'll take it. It's more of a gift for all you, I guess. <laughs> Here comes the cowboy. <laughs> the audacity! The audacity. Here comes the cowboy. Of this man to make a song like this. Vinny, what are you doing? I'm pooping back and forth forever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm going. Oh, here it is. I, I hope I got this right. Oh! I guess not. Oh, I have to ground pound that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, I have to throw an enemy through the side. Nope. Minute 30 left. Minute- not even a minute 30. Oh, and we're gonna shoot lightning, too. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, game! Fuck you, Baltimore! Um... No...
No. No. Where's that rewind button? No, 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 no. No. No, rewind doesn't work. No! No. No, why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? What? It's not working. It's, it, is it not enabled? I hate that level. This is one time where I don't, I, like, I would just, I, yeah, I would rewind. I would just rewind. I, I, and I, for some reason, I guess, I guess it's not enabled on my legit Game Boy. I can't find a setting to enable it either. I don't know what's going on. This is really not something. Just accept your fate. <sighs> I mean, I deserve it to some extent. For sure, I wasn't paying enough attention. It's just... Boy, does that suck. The astounding thing is, I almost found myself complaining about Wario having a life bar, where he didn't in previous games, which is one of the reasons I liked this game, or the idea of playing it, is because I- there is a life bar, there are hearts. So I have no right to complain. It's the salt talking, I know. It's just a shame. Any other level, I would just accept my fate and be like, alright. I fucked up, it's fine. That level was... Yeah. Some people are saying um, that that's the worst level in the game. And not only is it the worst level in the game, now it's doubly the worst level in the game, though. It's not just because it's tedious, but now I have to do it twice. So I'm going to extra hate that level. So it turns out this is not Bappy Games entirely. Be glad, glad I missed that cool heart up there. A little bit Bappy Games, but you know, I'm, I'm worse at Bappy Games than I am at Sekiro, so... Yes. Vinny, at least you beat Sekiro. Some people quit the final boss. I found, um... the Demon of Hatred to be more difficult. Maybe even Second Owl. Yeah, I don't know. The Sekiro stuff was... Once you- once you get going, you, you gotta- you gotta see it through. You can't just quit. Not even for, like, props. Not even to, like, say you did it for bragging rights, but just to, like... You know, you spend 30-something hours on a video game... Quitting? Nah, oh, man. I can't even say- you know what? I did- I did quit a game. I can't even say that. I spent... 20 to 30 hours, or whatever it was, on the last story on the Wii. Which was a JRPG with a, a weird... Like, it was alright. Like, I had a battle system that I didn't really love. And, um, it was like an hour boss fight. That takes an hour. It's not like you can just get good and do it in, you know, ten minutes. Or five minutes. It was like, you have to th go through the whole hour slowly whittling down the enemy's health. Doing all the right moves for like over an hour. And then you just have to do it again if you die, and I died. Um, Vinny, don't forget Wonderful 101. I never... Here's the difference. I've quit a lot of games... I've quit a lot of games halfway through, or a quarter of the way through, which was Wonderful 101 for some reason. I guess I just wasn't feeling it. Never say never to second chances for that game, but I also would very much like to never, like, uncrust my Wii U to play it, so hopefully it'll come to Switch. But, um... The difference is, yeah, I've, there's way less games that I've given up at the final boss. That feels a little bit worse. Like, you get that close. Like, put, put the time in. Darkest Dungeon, yeah. Darkest Dungeon, though, never felt like it had a fucking ending. And I would always... Th that wasn't just, like, a story game where, like, oh, we're gonna go from point A to point B and then win the game. That was, like, you could play that game for 150 hours and still not win. Yeah, I know it has an ending. I know the game has an ending. It's just a matter of... I was just... garbage at it. Just tra like, fucking pure garbage at that game. There were times where, I, you know, I had my moments, I was like, oh, this is- I'm getting this, and then I would forget, and then they would, like, patch something and change it, and... 
It just got too, um... I, th I didn't see the end in sight. I kept doing, like, um... I kept doing the same missions over and over and over again, and not feeling like there was any, any hope. No light at the end of the Dark Dungeon for me. Which is why Darkest Dungeon 2... I'm gonna start with a, a goal to finish it. You know, like, have a clean slate. Um, the other problem was, too, there was a, a different mode that, like, lowered the grinding. Which is cool and everything. And I, it's a, much appreciated, but at that point I was just like, I don't think I want to play this game anymore. I would still recommend Darkest Dungeon, by the way, even though I quit and never saw the ending. I spent like 80 hours in that game, maybe a little bit less. I still think it's a great game, and if you try it on the mode that requires less grind, maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did. But I still think it's a, a really fun, beautiful game that gets very frustrating. Then are you going to stream the other Mario and Luigi games? Yeah. Yeah, I would like to stream those games. At least, maybe not all of them. I've been debating which one to go to next. It depends on, on how I'm feeling about, like, playing RPGs. It depends on how many new games are coming out that I want to play. If there's, like, a really dry release schedule, then, um... I'm much more inclined to play something classic, something older. Oh god, Yoshi's Island flashback, stop! This game really knows how to ratchet up tension. Ah! It's also very short on health there, too. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna stop playing this game now. It seems like... It seems like I could do maybe like four or five levels per stream. Sunday stream is here again. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Human voice? Thanks for watching the stream, that was fun. Wario Land 4. We'll do more of that, eventually. Snake, it's Otacon. I have a warning for you. We just got a hot tip. Hatsune Miku is in the area. Snake, you be careful. She could sneak up on you in any minute. She's a twin-tailed voice synthesizer android. I don't know how you're going to battle her. You've got to watch it. She has the power of a god. And Intel tells me she actually created Minecraft. Can't believe that it. That means she's really smart. You be careful, Snake, whatever you do. Are you listening to me, Professional Snake? to the end. He only smiles Snake. at the very end. And barely... Very, you know, very professional voice actor. So last time I played this, there was a bit of an issue. And I was a little upset.
I died on a really horrible level. And, um... And I couldn't rewind. But I fucking did it. I did it in my own time. I spent 20 minutes. And I... I completed Pinball Zone. Because you have already seen the whole thing. You don't need to see it anymore. But I, I went through the level pretty quickly anyway this time. So it worked out. It worked out well. Like it wasn't... It wasn't nearly as painful. Um... So, so anyway, we're gonna just do the boss. The Wario Hop. Mario's Roulette. Oh, gambling, huh? Right. Oh. That's horrifying. Wrong. Where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? It's, um... Oh. Okay, that's a little scummy, but I'll do it. Oh, I gotta figure out... I, I just have to know where the, the things... They have to be directly over the face. Vinny, is this classified as body horror? Even the Chernobyl show doesn't really have that much body horror. It does, but it doesn't. It's a lot of vomit. Oh, I gave him my eyes. Shit. How is my memory this- this shit? This is not a good game for me. This is a bad minigame for me. Okay. Sex eyes. And, uh, and then- and then- and sex lips. Alright. Got it. That's a really disturbing face, Wario. Oh, God! Mm. Ah! Okay, so I'm on a fucking wheel in the desert. This is the opposite of Luigi on an egg. Did that cactus just shake its ass at me? Hey, Mario! I'm on an egg, flying over the fucking ocean! Yeah, I was a little distracted. Oh my god. Cactus. Got a boss fight. Is that before Google Dino Game? I think so. Visor Man. It's Vine Risen Man. Big... Please! It's an apple bomb. Here's a smile for you. Thanks. That's the only free item, is a smile. I kind of want to get, like, the Visor Man. So I'm just gonna do a couple more minigames. Vinny, thoughts on the Picard series title reveal? It's just... It's just Star Trek Picard. Yeah, like, they showed a, a visual, it was like a graphic, and the title... It just said, Star Trek Picard. It's like, oh, okay. The creative- the creative minds that brought you, um, the ending of Lost. Now bring you the Star Trek Picard series. Did you hear the production is still delayed? I did not know that, but now I do. So they revealed the title, even though there's a production delay? Amazon picked it up and Netflix wanted nothing to do with it. Oh god, they're gonna ruin Picard, aren't they? They're gonna ruin Captain Picard. Someone just said we're going to see Picard fuck. How, don't say that ever again. There is an episode of The Next Generation where Picard fucks. You don't see it, but it, it, he does. It's implied because Patrick Stewart wanted the character to have more like a James Bond, like, romance debonair quality to him. And so it was uh, Captain's Holiday. So, yeah, he, he does, um... They give... Riker gives him the Horgon, which sounds like the word horny. Um, and the Horgon is a statue that, if you display it while you're in your Speedo, or whatever, it means that you- you want to, like, you know... You know, I guess the main problem isn't that Picard fucks, it's that I don't want to see it on screen, and I- and I think, like... It's fine if he's younger. But now he's, like, 78. 
and I don't want to know about that. Oh, that, that's a scummy looking bird. Eat the eggs, Wario. Yeet them. You, you want me to heat them? No. Oh, this isn't going well for me. Hold up! Dumbass! Killed by ducklings. You can throw up while jumping. Oh. Secretly. Secretly, I just wanted Pfizer Man. For real! Someone said, I throw up while jumping all the time. I heard someone on a podcast explain the uh, chicken joke by saying the joke is only funny because the chicken it just wants to cross the road because you think it's about other chickens, but it's about crossing the road. It's like, no, dude, the other side is heaven. It's the it's the spirit realm, which people still, uh, still don't believe me about in chat. I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight for this. I talk about this all the time, but man, that chicken joke is not just anti-humor. It's layered. It's like an onion. Stop this. Vinny, what is the chicken joke? Uh, rest in peace, Visor Man. Rest in peace, Four Coins. Yeah, that was terrible. Um, what is the chicken joke? The chicken joke is, why why did the chicken cross the road, dude? That, that That's the chicken joke. To get to the other side. Wait, are there people that lived in a vacuum? That did not know that joke? Well, I call it a joke. I mean, that's... It may not be a joke. But yeah, I wonder if people live in, like, an actual vacuum cleaner. I wanna be your vacuum cleaner. Breathing in the dust. So yeah, I just went ahead and became an expert at this. So yeah, I had this book. It was a book of jokes. It came with a rubber chicken. Vinny, I'm gonna need that full vacuum cleaner song. It's um, it's called I Wanna Be Yours. It's a cover. I don't know the original version, but the Arctic Monkeys did a cover of it. It goes, I wanna be your vacuum cleaner. Uh, hang on a minute. Rubber chicken joke book. Rubber chicken book. Wow, they still, it's used. But yeah, I just found it. It's the rubber chicken book, a fine collection of bad skits, goofball stunts, front yard acrobatics, and really dumb jokes. And I loved that book because it came with like uh, a rubber chicken and it told jokes. And, uh, well, now you know why I'm so funny. Was it a full rubber chicken? Oh, wait, no, I can't go this way. What am I doing? Um, I don't remember if it was a full rubber chicken. I do, the only sound effect I have on cue is this. Oh, I watched The Terror. I'm on episode two. I think I'm just finishing that up. Um, it's not at all Lovecraftian, really. I said it was, that was a mistake. I mean, it's it's got horror elements. It just, it feels a little foreboding in the same way a Lovecraft story does, but it's, it's, uh, it's really good. The, the boat show, yeah, it's two boats that, um, are at the Arctic Shelf to try to find a passage to someplace. And, um, Mance Raider, Edmure Tully, and Anderson Dawes are in it. Some of you know who these people are. And, uh, yeah, they get stuck because the, um, one of the captains is stubborn. It's like, yeah, we'll push through. We'll definitely be alright. God's with us. And then they get stuck in the ice. It's based on a true story. It's based on, a, like, well, I mean, not the supernatural elements, but... Well, I mean, we don't know that. Could be, yeah. But yeah, I've, I've definitely, uh, good recommendation, Jeff and everyone who told me about it. It's good. I like having a TV show to watch while I'm cooking dinner, or, like, before bed. Or, um, yeah, especially cool shows that involve horror elements and, like, weird fucking body mutilations. That way I can sleep with, um, good dreams. Really cool, super awesome dreams. What about podcasts? Well, there's, um, a, a podcast for the Chernobyl TV show. 
that explains some of the production stuff, but mostly just the events that happened in the show and how they relate to what happened in real life. Did any of you watched Lake Mungo? No, because the name was always too silly for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, what is it? Is it any good? Is it a horror movie? Have you ever seen Dead Alive by Peter Jackson, director of Lord of the Rings? It's a ghost mockumentary. <laughs> okay. Lake Mungo is like horror, but The Office. Okay. What we do in the shadows is like st stupid vampires, but The Office. We drank the blood of some people, but the people were on drugs. And now I'm a wizard. Jermaine is apparently in... Th the next Avatar movies? That's not Jermaine, by the way, for those that didn't know. Jermaine is a different human being. Th there is... Oh, God, can I... Can I uh, read a headline to you? Because there's, there's a thing that happened that made me laugh today. So, Taika Waititi is doing a movie. It's a comedy movie about Hitler. <laughs> Not what you think it is. It's I don't remember. I don't really remember what the um, what the context of this movie is. But this was the headline. To play Hitler in Jojo Rabbit, Taika Waititi did zero research because the guy is a fucking cunt. So Taika Waititi tweeted, "To be clear, Hitler is the cunt." What a headline. What a headline. That is a head. You gotta make sure your headlines are clear. Vinny, are you gonna stream the Zelda Necromancer- no, sorry, Zelda Necrodancer game when it comes out? Yes. Someone said they hear Dancing Queen from ABBA in the song. Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> way, way to ruin the song! No, well... It's not ruined, it's just now I'm never gonna not hear Dancing Queen. Here it comes. <laughs> Different enough. We do the dance! The monster dance! Wario's the dancing queen. Young and sweet, only 17, feel the beat of the tambourine. Dancing queen, Wario is the dancing queen. Yeah, I'm only uh, 17 years old! My uh, auntie Bertrude, uh, what is her name? Gertrude, uh, Gertrude. No, it's, yeah, it's Bertrude, but... There's another, he's got another aunt. It's Aunt Gertrude. Uh, this is the comedy you come here for, right? Chicken jokes. That damn right. Now you know. Vinny Origins is a chicken joke book. You know, someone said in chat, I always thought Dancing Queen was the most overrated ABBA song. I don't know very many other ABBA songs. So I couldn't tell you. I couldn't speak to that. But... I want to mention Fleetwood Mac. There are so many Fleetwood Mac songs that are, like, super overplayed. But I don't hate them any less. That's one of the few bands where I can still listen to all of Rumors. And, I, and I'm into everything. I'm into every song. And I just... I've heard them so many times. Shit. What can you do? I missed the key as well? What happens when you miss the key? I think I fucked up. No new level. Oh, that's great. Oh. You know what? I just thought of a good idea. I'm a little tired. And I bought this cold brew. Now, I'm not drinking a lot of coffee at 1 a.m., but I'm going to have a little coffee. So I'll be right back. Hey, does anybody want some coffee? I've been meaning to try this, too. I figured this would be a good remedy, like, if I just take a, a like, a little bit.
and, and inject the coffee directly into my bloodstream, maybe I'll be more awake. What brand? Trader Jim. Cold brew. Ready to drink. Could use a little sugar and, and milk, but it's good. It's actually really good. Don't even need the sugar and milk. Don't even need it. And welcome to the stream, everybody. Today we're going to be doing some uh, block building and stacking and throwing. No, I'm not drinking any more of it. No way. Now I know what to do. Someone in chat just said this man managed to beat Cuphead. Excuse me, Mr. Vine Sauce, are you the person that beat Sekiro Shadows Die Twice live on your stream? I've never seen anyone do that. I was just wondering, can I have your autograph? Excuse me, Mr. Full Sauce, is it? Mr. Subnautica? Yeah, they just start calling me by the games I've played. Mr. Zelda Breath of the Wild, is that you? I'm a big fan of your work. Mr. Tamadachi, that would probably be the one. Or Mr. Corruption. Mr. Tamadachi or Mr. Corruption? Mr. Galgun? No, that's not. I'm not okay with that one. Mr. Gigglebone Gang. Mr. Pennsylvania. Oh shit, it's Pennsylvania! He's here at Too Many Games. Convention, Too Many Games. He's here. Holy shit, he's DMC2! He's here! It's a very silly stream again. It'll never be that, though, because I'll never play DMC2. It's kind of, um, weird that Nintendo would release DMC1 on the Switch, but not the trilogy. I know why they're doing it, I think, which is to test the waters and also to possibly make money. Capcom, I, I'm sorry, why did I say Nintendo? Capcom. But yeah, they can they can sell. Say if DMC one sells really well, they could just sell the second one separately and make some good money. And then the third one, which is the best one of those, from what I understand, I've only played that one. It was good. Penny, will you stream DMC one on the Switch when it comes out? Nah. Probably not. I still would like to stream Spyro, too, at some point this year. Especially now that they got rid of the fucking motion blur. And I'm still waiting on that Resident Evil 2 DLC. The one that's supposed to do, like, a, a randomized mode. Like a roguelite mode. That came out, though. Did it? No. Roguelike, not light. Are we doing the term discussion again? Roguelike is a misleading term. I've been saying- I've been trying to reprogram myself to say roguelite. Because they're not the same thing and, you know... I don't even care. Every game is a roguelike according to Steam. Nobody really cares. Oh no, people do. Look at chat. Look at the yachting right now. Some people really do care, and I, I don't really... I just say roguelite because roguelike implies that it's much more like Rogue, which was the original game that did the thing. Wow! Vinny, what was your favorite game so far this year? Ah, oh, man. Favorite game this year. Either DMC5 or Resident Evil 2. Capcom killed it this year, so far. No, uh, new games that came out this year, not Mother 3. Oh, okay. That's the big brain, right there. That's the big brain. It's weird, because, yeah, RE2 and DMC5, both excellent games. But if you switch the numbers around, you get two very questionable games. 
What about Baba is You? Baba is You was was great. Baba is You is a is a cool game. It just kind of petered out a little bit for me at the end. But no, it, I mean Capcom released my two favorite games this year so far, and Sekiro is is damn close. I had a lot of fun with Sekiro, but it, I think I had more fun with both of those games. That's how you get that. I, this game is is great. This is another fucking great game. You gotta have some big brains to play this game. No, they really nailed a, a good, like, combination of um, platforming and thinking. Wario is, is kind of low-key one of the best franchises Nintendo has. It's always pretty solid. Yeah, even the Virtual Boy Wario is pretty good, which is probably the best game on- it is the best game on the Virtual Boy, isn't it? Unless you like 3D Tetris and you like getting sick. Crash Team Racing? I'm actually really excited about Crash Team Racing. I think that's gonna be great. It's a remake, but they're doing... They're doing a lot of extra stuff. Like, they're, they're adding so much to it. And I, I never played the full original Crash Team Racing. I played it at a friend's house, and I played the demo that came on the PlayStation Magazine demo disc. Are you looking forward to Dragon Quest Builders 2? I have a weird confession to make. That might be one of my most anticipated games of 2019, for some reason. Even though I never even played the first one. Well, I've read a lot about it. I saw it played at PAX. Um, I... You know, I've watched videos, I know what the game is, and it just, it looks like a fun game. It looks like a really fun game, it looks like the sequel expands on a lot of the things the first one did right, did really well. Actually ended up getting everything there. Speaking of egg salad, even though Wario is not saying uh, egg salad, I'm gonna speak about egg salad anyway. Egg salad smells like poop. So be careful if you have that around you and there's other people near you, because they'll think that you brought the big poop with you. Someone said wrong. Someone in chat just said wrong. This is an objective truth. There is no arguing. The variety in this game is really... It's really great. Who are these little Wario imposters, though? I kind of hate them. Also, I'm getting vibes from this whole region of the game from, like, uh, Mario Land 2, when you're inside the giant toy Lego Mario. That sun looks like it just saw, like, someone getting changed somewhere in the village. Like, somewhere to the right, someone is, like, sunbathing topless. Yeah, those are actually Lego trees. Those are just straight up from the Lego playset. Is anyone here past 30 that still builds Lego sets? Um... Last Lego set I built was a Star Wars one when I had just turned 30, so I guess I count. Oh, fuck you, game! Oh, I did the Yellow Submarine, that's right, I forgot about that. I did the Yellow Submarine Lego set. Vinny, you are actually so amazingly blind. Thanks, bro. I thought maybe lightning was good. I was like, maybe lightning is a superpower of some kind. Oh, the background stuff is, is nightmare fuel. A little bit. A little bit. It's supposed to be cute, but I hate it. So, I have to just keep going. Stop!
Wow, it's like I didn't fail. It's like I never even failed everything else that happened. The, uh, yeah, the, there's some drugs happening in the background. That sun... That sun definitely, uh... It's looking at some suns under the influence of some pretty heavy fucking di dimethyltryptamine... Tri whatever. Dimethyltryptamine, thank you. Even with the coffee, this is not my finest work. This game kind of, you know, I kind of want... I don't want coffee. No, no, not coffee. Egg salad. You know, we've been talking about egg salad. What? Danger art. Someone's gonna make... He's gonna... Like, this is the Buru. People just make fine girls. And doodle dip. Uh, and blinnies. And they all come to life to haunt me in real life. And and endless meat. Endless meat. <laughs> Vinny, but doodle dips are good. So is meat. I don't want them to be alive though. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. What would you do if you were recognized in public as the doodle dip guy? Well now that you said that, someone's gonna do that. Hey! Are you the doodle dip guy? My name is Kathan. Nathan? Oh, Kathan! What, like Caleb? Speaking of meat, someone apparently modded... What game was it? Someone modded a game to have meats... ...as the voice of the characters. Shit. No, it was like, uh, it was- it was Fallout 4, Fallout 4. The, um... The ghouls. They modified it the they modified the ghouls to have meat voices. They just took the meat noises from my stream. Which by the way is intellectual property that I'm going to have to ask for compensation for. Thanks. Secret missed. There's a lot of secrets in this game that I've been missing. This will go down in history as one of my blindest playthroughs. Oh boy. I've just been told to stop not thinking. Meanwhile, all you had to do was just say thinking. No need for the double negative. Just say thinking, dude. Someone said you can kill him by throwing snails at him? Then you're being japes? This is too frustrating. Maybe I should play some nice Zelda 2 randomized and relax. With some nice, non-frustrating, non-terrible Zelda 2 randomized. Finny, what's your take on the new King Gizzard album? I was surprised that it didn't sound all like Psy Boogie. I thought they were putting out like a, a weird disco-y synth album, and it turned out to be kind of a little folky and all over the place. It goes from, like, weird psychedelic shit to, like, harmonica and, like, folk music, and it got a lot of mileage out of variety, which means, um, it could be hit or, hit or miss. Mostly hit, though. That's my take. My hot take. I like the song that goes, Side booty! Side booty. Yeah, it's a gr grown-up adult stream tonight here on Vine Sauce. Vinny, do you have an all-time favorite King Gizzard song? I think Rattlesnake is their best. I don't think Rattlesnake is their best song. I think it's their silliest, most catchy song. I think it's a good, like, intro to the band. I, I think Nuclear Fusion might still be my favorite song. I, I actually really, really like the first track on uh, Gumboot Soup. Beginner's Luck. Um, Muddy Water is great. I mean, there's just so many to choose from. Crumbling Castle. Fucking hell, how do you choose? How do you choose? How do you choose? I do know that Nuclear Fusion was the song that really got me into them. Aside from Rattlesnake, so that's- that's why I said that one first. 
There's a song called Head On, in parentheses, Pill, that I had never heard until I saw them live. And... The way they did that song, it was, it was great. Someone said Jesus and Mary Chain. Well, I saw them open for Nine Inch Nails. They were really good. Very... I don't know, just solid... Great band live. Um, I was never really, like, biggest Jesus and Mary Chain fan, but... Seeing them live was a whole different thing. Religious? No, they're not a religious band. They just called themselves that. There's also a band called The Jesus Lizard. The dude who produced Nirvana's In Utero produced their records. And, um, or some of them, I think. I don't, I don't know if they, he did all of them. Albini. And they're heavy and weird and, and loud. And I don't believe they're about religious lizards. There are so many, like, artists and band names that are, are bizarre at first, but then you just get used to it. And you're like, oh, that's fine, that's normal. Like, The Who. When I was at the Met looking at the guitars and stuff, you know, Keith Moon's drum just says The Who on it. And I'm like, yeah, that's definitely a weird name when you think about it. Effective. They were almost called the Detours, which is more generic. Yeah, there's Butthole Surfers. Don't forget about Butthole Surfers, everybody. Don't forget to go Butthole Surfing. Secret Mist. Vinny, do you have any interest in Void Bastard's game? I've seen it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's got a cool art style. Chat, do you mind if I chew gum on stream? Yes, you want me to? <laughs> yeah. Alright, guys. Look at the domino row. I wonder if someone's gonna start a stream one day like that. Like, their whole gimmick is that they just chew gum on stream 24-7. Alright, guys. Welcome to the, um, the gum chewing channel. It would have to be a Boston guy, though. Like, it has to be, like, Jerma's cousin, um, Slurma. Because Boston guys can chew gum, and it sounds, it sounds better. Someone wrote, Vinny, Pulp and Pond are nice recommendations, but sorry, King Gizzard is fucking shit. What the actual fuck? Which songs did you listen to, if you're not, um, if you're not trolling? He probably listened to Murder of the Universe. Yeah, that would do that. That's like a Surface of the Sun take. Oh, no, Murder of the Universe is a cool album. I just wish they would have left Charles off of it. <laughs> Vinny, thanks for reading that. Rattlesnake and Nuclear Fusion. Okay. Um... Can I give you a couple more suggestions before you, uh... write off King Gizzard? I don't think it's bait. I don't think it's bait. They, they seem to be listening... to... the band. He could be trolling. But let me, let me help you out anyway. Check out... the following songs. Beginner's Luck on Gumboot Soup. Greenhouse Heat Death. See if you like those two. Check out Reels Not Real from Fishing for Fishies. And then check out the first song on Nonagon Infinity, Robot Stop. And if that doesn't do you no good, then you then you leave them alone. You don't touch them. You stay away like like uh like some kind of like like it, like it was the devils. Like it was the devils themselves. What about Gamma Knife? Well, I'm giving them a couple to start with, because there's- I love so many of their songs, but I'm trying to think what would be a good- I mean, some people just don't like certain music. I mean, that's- that's never gonna change. That's why I don't think they're trolling. This isn't universally good music for everyone. I think it- I think it's great. And most people I've- <clears throat> I've showed the music to... ...like it, but... Um, I think just to start, those are some good ones. What about Rem Lazar? Good song. Good dude, I know him personally. It's not every level in this game is, is a complete hit for me, but... I will say that I love the variety. Not just in the objectives per level, but also the, the themes. It doesn't, you know, they don't reuse the same tile sets. Wouldn't it be cool if Wario was an optional character? In Mario Maker? That'd be nice. Even if he didn't have, like, the shoulder charge. It'd still be cool. Someone in chat a minute ago said something like, um... 
I wonder if there's anyone that listens to Red Vox and watches Vine Saw simultaneously, simultaneously, that doesn't realize that Vinny is in both things. It's apparently happened. I don't know how true it is, but um, I've had people tell me, "Well, I've watched this guy for years, and I stopped watching him for a while, and now he's in this band that I discovered." It's it, I don't. It's probably probably BS to be honest. But, it's a comment that I've seen on, um... I think you can even check out Another Light on YouTube, and it's in one of those comments. Could be real. I think it's prob- it's probably a very small percentage of people that have heard the band. If it is real. I'd say that the odds are in its favor of happening at least a couple times, though. Or maybe uh, the better odds are someone heard Redbox at some point, a friend, you know, showed it to them or whatever, and they've heard the name Vine Sauce, or maybe watched the Mario 64 Corruption video, like, several years ago, but otherwise don't watch regularly or know who I am. That might be... much more likely. <laughs> Someone in chat wrote, So they're into semitones and shit, this King Gizzard? They started doing semitones on one of their albums, and they've used it a couple times since. Yeah. So, the reason the album is called Flying Microtonal Banana is because, uh, Stu, the singer and main songwriter and lead guitarist of Gizzard, got a guitar that has, um, microtones. So, look at the, the frets on the neck. Some of you may not know what this means, but it's basically notes that you don't usually hear in traditional scales. Um... This is the, uh, the neck of a, just a regular old Stratocaster, so you can see, like... The frets are, are definitely a lot different, and, uh, you can get some of those notes between the notes. So, uh, that's gotta be a nightmare to, to learn how to play, and, like, get it second nature, and, and not, um... And not revert back to playing the chords that you already know. So, uh, Sto from King Gizzard, tell me about guitars. You like guitars? That's nice. Go get coins. Well, I was thinking about switching to, uh, Astroneer. Maybe I'll just let you guys stew for a little while. Hey, stew again. Is there, like, another two hours of this game left, or more than that? Would you say? Less? Okay, so then... About two? This is something like two? Alright, so then I'll save the rest of the game for the next stream. Because, um... I would like to stream Astroneer because it's getting late. So I have two new levels and I have to do a fucking Arabian night level again. Um, I have a boss and then I have the, the middle of the pyramid. So yeah, definitely can knock that out next stream. Music. Okay. I was just waiting for Yoko Ono to show up. You know, John Lennon once wrote a song. The lyrics are... It's not really a song so much as it's like a little interlude between songs. Lyrical genius he is. He goes, uh, Yoko Ono, oh no. Yoko Ono, oh yes. Thanks for watching. We're gonna, um, save it here and boss fight next time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, you didn't see that! I don't know, you know, how does my real overclocked Game Boy do that? I don't know! It's real strange. So, yeah, welcome to the stream. I'm, I'm a little late tonight. I had some... some stuff going on, some friend stuff that was nice. Um... Kind of some belated birthday stuff, believe it or not. Because I didn't really do a whole lot for my birthday, so a couple of my... ...of my friends decided to, to do a thing. And we just played duck game... ...and ate pizza. As you do. Um, so that was, that was good enough for me. I plugged my controller in. I mean, my Game Boy Advance... ...game console is now ready. Here we go! Last time I played this, I had, um, a bit of a nightmare scenario. 
Arabian Night. So we're gonna just start with this. We're gonna get this out of the way. I didn't finish this. Okay, so I just need the key on this level. Um... Anyway, welcome to the stream. Weather is nice. Hope you're doing okay. Hope you're feeling okay. I'm, uh, doing my best. And I'm here, and I have, um, lemonade. That's... Yep. That's what I got. You know, I still haven't taken pictures of some of the stuff that people sent me for my birthday, like some of the stuff that people made for me. Or the, uh, duck buttons that Adult Swim sent me, of which I now have three. It's not really relevant at this moment, is it? Eventually. Vinny, did you do Zelda tier list already? No. Um, I didn't have a chance. I wasn't- I, I wasn't home, really, today. Um, until later. And I'm gonna do that before I stream Zelda next. Now, she says... That's what she says. Um, made a tier list for Zelda. And the amount of hate in his comments on Twitter was next level astounding hate. Let's just say some of his choices weren't popular choices. But regardless, it was just, yeah, I mean, he was just blindsided by the amount of negativity over his tier list. Vin Otacon has information on Garfield. I heard it. It's pretty good. I'll play it at some point, but, um,. I know that there are other more popular things that people would like me to play on the stream. Where, where is that? Listen, okay, I know it's from the the fart. I know people were saying it's from an Overwatch thing, but the original fart sound. Like, where does that original, yeah, the nerf this thing. That was in another vi video. That was someone who went to, like, fart, and it turned into, like, that sound. Donald Duck having a stroke? It's a royalty-free fart sound? I'm not gonna play it. Hang on. Donald Duck having a stroke. I'm not gonna play it. Not loud, at least. Okay, that's so much weirder. That's so much weirder when it's not just a disembodied gnome fart. Poo. I, I don't think I can play that gnome video anymore. It's been ruined. It's- it's- it was pure, until then, until that moment. I'm gonna need a new gnome video with different noise. It's the only way, man. Yeah, this is- this is correct, I think. And I missed those gems the same way I did last time, too. I watched some footage of WarioWare Shake It- sorry, Wario Land Shake It, I always say that. And, um, it looks beautiful. It's hand-drawn. It's really, really nice looking. I've never played the game. One day I may play it. It's not even a long game. It's like about the same length or shorter than this. So that's like e an easy stream for me. Um, so I may stream that at some point because I like Wario. Well, I don't really like him. I like his games. He's kind of a fucking asshole, but anyway. Wario, shake it. Wario Land, shake it. His voice is, is quite different. Charles is, um... Even just within a couple years, Charles is doing some different things. Someone just said, hey, the stream's not working on YouTube. I'm gonna try it on my Xbox. Got bad news for you, mate. I actually did just get another email about my stream's not working on YouTube. I'd say maybe like once a month or two. Every... once every month or two. Oh, that's not the way to the... But yeah, once every month or so, someone will email me and say, Vinny, your YouTube stream does not work. Um... Longtime fan been watching for like five years where's the YouTube stream and I'm like ah just tell them the truth I'm like hey listen if I could I would Vinny your mixer stream just went out what happened um oh yeah mixer Shake Shack what, what's the other one it's mixer and then there's another one now hit smash.tv Vinny I was trying to watch your stream on grinder but I couldn't find it what gives oh lava all right, well, let me get a refreshment. Like I said, I have lemonade, but I don't have it near me, so... I'm gonna get a refreshment. I'll be back. Hong, Hong Kong. I mean, hang on a minute. I went with the pineapple juice instead. Yeah, the famous pineapple juice that people have seen. The people were on drugs. So, uh, people... Oh. So, I got a couple emails about the time I was on Facecam for the Sonic video. One was, Vinny, this is a longtime fan. Please never, ever go on camera again. Thank you. That was one. 
That's a real email. Desert, I showed you that one, right? I showed the mods that one. That one was funny. Um, I like that one. And uh, what was the other one? Oh, the other one was, Vinny, why do you drink the pineapple juice? What are you trying to do? And then they linked me to an article that says pineapple juice has some um, interesting effects on... I just, I think it tastes nice. I like it. It's, it was just a convenient, nice tasting juice drink. And that's really, there's all, not, that's all there is to it. And you should stop that. You, what is this? How do I get in there? I want to get in there. Vinny, you posted cringe. You're going to lose subscribers. Black Mirror season three soon. I was really, uh, I was really into the first couple seasons. New, oh wait, what season? Are we on season four? Maybe? Block five? God, I don't even know what season we're on. Jesus. It's only three episodes, though. Someone just wrote, phone's bad. <laughs> That's it! The, the show does nothing else. It has no value whatsoever, because it, it there may be an episode that jokes about how phones could, could be bad, yeah. That's it. Reduced to its bare essentials. But, um... Yeah, there's an episode where the Prime Minister of England fucks a pig. But at, that's, um... I don't know if that's related to, uh, technology bad. Yeah, it is, actually, now that I think about it. If I remember the- if I recall the episode properly, it is that, yeah. That's just the first episode of the show. But no, it's a good show. I mean, some episodes are gooder than others. Um, and there are some very heavy-handed ones, but... I challenge you to watch the new Twilight Zone series, and then pop on an episode of Black Mirror, and you'd be like, Oh, this is not even close. But it's just a depressing show. Twilight Zone is just campy and, and sci-fi, and... Never in my life did I ever think a Twilight Zone episode would have the word Eat My Vagina in it, but that's what Twilight Zone is now, I think. Or it might have been Suck My Vagina. Sorry, I don't, I don't want to mince words here. But there was a couple of things I liked. It wasn't all bad. I've, I've seen some of the Twilight Zone episodes, and there's there's a couple that were kind of cool that almost retained the tone of the old shows. The problem is some of them go for so campy. Oh, this is cool. Some of them go for really, really, like, heavy camp, and it doesn't really translate very well to... the sci-fi they're trying to do. And then some of the stuff is just poorly written, I feel. I don't know, I don't really know much about anything, that's just my thoughts. But, um... Yeah, no, Black Mirror has its hits, it has its misses as well. Uh... And I want to like the new Twilight Zone, because I, I really, you know, I remember every 4th of July I would watch the old one with my cousin, my, my family, and, uh, some of those episodes are ingrained in my mind forever. No, not the club cousin. Remember, I never really hung out with that guy. The dude that invites me to the club with Ava Mendez. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions about that story, and I'm here to set the record straight. Yes, Ava Mendez and Madonna were at this club. No, they were not happy to be at that club, apparently. Um... And no, my club cousin and I were not close growing up. At all. Different cousin. I just have a lot of cousins. I'm Italian. But the the other misconception is that that this club was actually trendy. Meanwhile, my cousin was like, bring girls. I want you to bring girls to the club bin. I'm like, I I don't really know very many girls. Who I'm sorry, what do you want me to do? Like, you must be scraping the bottom of the barrel if you want me to bring girls to your club that has thousand-dollar bottles of champagne and Ava Mendez and Madonna. Mate, what are you talking about? Only bring hookahs to club. Someone just wrote, doesn't know many girls, drinks pineapple juice for enhancements. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here. I'm gonna start a rumor right now that pineapple juice makes you shoot laser loads. That's the rumor. We're starting it on the stream right now. Alright? Spread it as an urban legend. 
there's no truth to that whatsoever. There's no scientific evidence. But if you want to shoot lasers, that's how you do it. Now let me play a gnome video for you. Someone said, Vinny, you play gnomes, but I got banned for doing that. The irony. How are you speaking if you're banned? Did Nightbot time you out for a link for five seconds? That's not what he means. You know- wait, 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 you know what he means? What does he mean? He played it on his stream. He got banned for playing gnomes on his stream? I mean, he's got no other messages in chat, so I don't know that information for a fact, but... If you could get banned for playing the gnome video, what... What is this world come to? That is how you start a rumor. Yep. That's true. The pineapple laser loads, that's definitely not anywhere near as enticing. Doesn't have as much, um, weight to it as this new rumor. The other gem piece is to the left of that fire pillar. Jump over the left, it's there. Okay. Gotta go over the top, like Sylvester Stallone. Adrian, I'm drinking pineapple juice! Wait, was Stallone even in that movie? Or is that Patrick Swayze? Or am I thinking of Roadhouse? What the fuck? Oh, here it is. Okay, so that I needed, and now there's one more. The final gem is after it goes ice, it's in a door you walked past. No, I- I specifically asked where that was, that's good information. You have been furnished. That's right, the informations. Remember, I am like an insider, furnishing you with every informations you need. That's the actual quote. Okay. Ice. Ice. Ice, baby. I would assume this door... Yep. Okay. Oh, nice. Cool, okay. Yep, now I understand why there was a door suspended in the air. Yeah, this game is great. It's really good platforming. It kind of feels unique, too. Even though there's been other Wario games and a million other platformers, it still kind of occupies its own space. And it feels pretty replayable. A million things to collect, lots of little secrets. That bastard. Doesn't afraid of anything, that's right. You want a million things to collect? That's Wario Land 3. Is it? Yeah, but Mario Land 3, you're invincible. Which is good, because I need that, because Babby mode. No CD, just missed the CD, God damn it. Oh well. You know, there's a gun that you can purchase legally that shoots salt at bugs. So if you have, like, bugs, um, you know, that maybe you have issues with spiders or uh, centipedes or flies or, or bumblebees. I have one. It, I got one recently, actually. And I haven't used it yet, uh, because I- I will never use it because I don't want to harm bugs, because I'm nice. But if a spider is crawling somewhere around me, or a centipede, let's- let's say I'll leave the spiders. I'll- I'll be nice to the spiders, because I like them, um, because they take care of the centipedes for me. So I'm not gonna fuck with the spiders, but if a centipede shows up, I may have an issue with that. Salt your pasta water from afar. Ooh. One of my last, um, centipede experiences from last year was just as the weather was starting to get cold, so the winter kills the centipedes. But my, uh... I think some of you may remember this, but for those new to the stream, I have a horrible story for you. I was about to fall asleep. I'm in my bed. And I'm real tired. And I... I start to... I feel something kind of fuzzy moving on my arm. You know, I have my, my arm wrapped around the pillow, kind of. And, um... It, I thought it was just nothing. I thought it was like, oh, that's probably just like... <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm probably sleeping, probably dreaming. Like, I, go to, I put my hand on it, and I feel it. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Is that, like, a fuzzy thing from the pillow? I, is that... What is that? So... I get up real quick... And I'm like, what was that? It moved. It moved and I felt it. What was it? So I turned the light on. It was like the size of my thumb, or slightly bigger. Which, look at your own thumb if you want reference. Because you don't know what my thumb looks like. Unless you do, you fucking creep. But, um... Yeah, it was a centipede. It was a house centipede. And I just saw it crawling around on my bed. 
and I never found it again. It got away. It, it was fa those things are fucking fast. So I got away, and from that night forward, I was checking every inch of my bedroom before I went to sleep. I still think about it sometimes. It's been months. The centipede is still thinking about you. Well, I think the centipede might be dead because winter came and went. And usually, you know, winter... ...is the natural enemy to the centipede. So that's a, that's a horror story. That's not a regular old story, that's just a horror story that I wanted to tell you. Which is why I now have the salt gun that ejects salt at a high velocity in order to remove such things from your bedroom or and or your um, kitchen. Centipedes like moist. <laughs> they do, as jokey as that sounded, they, they do. That's why they, they kind of like crawl out of your shower drain. Which is why I now... This is gonna sound weird. You know how porn stars bleach their asshole? Well, I bleach my shower drains because I want the centipedes to die. Someone just said, okay, I'm done, good night, see ya. So yeah, you gotta bleach- you gotta bleach your shower drain. Um, if you have house centipedes. It helps, it reduces the amount. Um, sticky traps help. Having an assault rifle that shoots, um, salt is also quite nice. This is an interesting take on, like, almost a, a Mario-esque ghost house or a, a murder house. Severing the centipedes immortality, that's correct. You need a katana for that. Yeah, murder house. You never heard of murder houses? When I was growing up, there was a murder house. We had a local murder house. Did you, like... Did you ever have... Chat? This is for all of you. A local legend... Of, like, a murder house? Somewhere in your area... You know... Whatever it may be, wherever it may be, someone was killed there. It's either haunted, or really creepy, or abandoned. That kind of thing. No, we have a local crack house, someone said in chat. Okay. Well, we had one, and the... The scary part was that there was supposedly... Um, a ghost in the woods. And, um... People were talking about this ghost, and you would pull up to it, and it would, um... It would illuminate. And then years later, people were like, oh, it's just the way light is reflecting. But I told this story already. Cropsy's a whole different thing. Cropsy is fucked. There's the Sea View home. There's a lot of haunted stuff on Staten Island. We talk about this from time to time on the stream. Um, we even have a house full of real-life vampires. Did you believe it? One was a warlord during the Ottoman Empire. His name is Nandor. And he goes, um... We drank the blood of some people. But the people were on drugs. They called me Nandor the... The relentless, because I did not relent. Did you see that Tommy Wiseau posted a me brawler of himself in Smash? I did see that, yeah. Tommy Wiseau is... ...an opportunist. In the most... ...pure sense of that word. Haha, <laughs> I am his Smash Brothers! He doesn't know what that is. But he's been on Twitch a couple times. I mean, he's played some video games. He played Dark Souls on this alien show. Alien, why?! So it's it's not like he doesn't know... Like, he knows what video games are. It's just he's not... He's not really into them. Um... And when he played them, I, I want to say played with air quotes. He kind of just ran into walls and stuff. There's a couple uh, screenshots released or behind-the-scenes photos or... Weird distant photos. ...of, uh... ...the Picard show. And they, like, they brought back the, the TNG uniforms, but it's 20 years in the future or so, 25 years. Um, Patrick Stewart looks very old. That's my only real observation. It's nice that the uniforms are back, and I think he's still gonna do a great job. It's just, goddamn. This fucking aging sucks. Someone just wrote, time is a cunt. Yeah, I feel that. But, I, I still think with, with the right script... You know, it could be good. The right scripts, directors... Get that Kurtzman guy as far away from the project as possible. The uniforms are not identical. The pips are down below the collar. They might be based off the future uniforms. 
Um, there's also the All Good Things combat might be, uh, used. No, no, they're, they're a little bit further into the future, yeah. I read a, about that, the speculation of when the uniforms are from. But they look, you know, it's just nice to see those style uniforms again in Star Trek. I, I kind of hate the Discovery uniforms. Just bland blue jumpsuits. Like, we could do so much better than that. Like, I liked when Captain Pike showed up and he was wearing the yellow, like, the gold Enterprise, um, colorful outfit. And then they're like, yeah, we're gonna put him in the blue jump jumpsuit. And I was like, god damn it. Jump shoot. Basketball thing that you could do. Mega Man is jump shoot game. Oh yeah, I guess it is. Vinny, are you gonna continue Enter the Gungeon in the future? Yeah. 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 Gungeon's good. And I got everything. What are we doing? Are you gonna stream Tetris 99 event? Uh, maybe. There's an event, you can unlock a Game Boy skin. Vinny and... Vinny Vinesauce lied about the Tetris 99 return stream. I did, yes. At first, I, I thought I was gonna return to Tet 99, I just... I guess I just didn't feel like getting aggravated. I like it. And if I'm available tomorrow to stream in some capacity, then maybe I'll, I'll boot it up. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I was hoping for more stuff in the game. And this $10 DLC they're doing is just like a single-player mode. Kinda weird. So... For those that are... You know, who have been to New York and have ridden the Staten Island Ferry... Uh, you know that there's nothing to do here when you get here. So, Staten Island was sick of that happening. Because people ride the ferry for free, and then just go straight back to the city. And so they figured, well, there, there could be money here. And what they tried to do for years was direct people to local sights and sounds, like some historical stuff, some, you know, the mall or whatever. Just a way for people who are tourists to spend money in Staten Island. And it never worked. So what they did instead was they had this idea to build a giant Ferris wheel, like the London Eye. And that was supposed to attract the attention of people, so they would be like, Wow, look at that massive fucking wheel! But, um, that fell through. And also Staten Island residents were like, Fuck that wheel! Like, we've never been united in anything. But, we were united in fuck that wheel. So, um, and the taxpayers were not happy about it either. Anyway, the wheel just got shit-canned. But the other part of it was an outlet mall, called Empire Outlets. And apparently it opened. And they did a big ribbon cutting ceremony two days ago. Now this is just at, like right outside the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. So if you ever are a tourist here, there's now like premium outlet stores, H&M and all that shit. Stuff that I have no interest in buying. But I went over there real quick today. And it was fucking weird. This was what it looked like over there. It's not open. 20% of it's open. The rest of it is crusty. Look at that dark alley. You know what that is? That's fear. The one down there on the left. There's so many... Like, the construction of this thing is really weird. But, like, it's like there's lots of little tunnels and caves. And they, like, crisscross the stores in a way that there's just weird, like... Like, um, corridors that are dark. Someone said this doesn't look like New York. No. Well, it's Staten Island, which is a little different. Then there was this. I heard this strange noise as I was walking up the stairs. Keep in mind, again, grand opening two days ago. And there were a lot of, like, just dead areas. A lot of, like, creepy dark areas. And, like, lots of construction. And this is what happened.
almost Godfather. Just a dude playing a theremin. Looks like he was in Zoolander. Kind of cool. Also kind of weird. And then the most fitting... Um, the most fitting part of all of this is... I want you to be aware of Staten Island. Welcome, everybody, to Empire Outlets in Staten Island. And there is Manhattan. Interested? Please, we need tourism, apparently. Please. It, it's a lovely place. One more. Come on. Come on, don't... Don't take the treasure chest away from me. Not yet. Gotcha. All three chests. Clutch. One more level and final boss. Finish the game tonight. That's the plan. Got another boss right here, actually. Just backloaded all the bosses into the last stream. The hell? Oh! Much like Sekiro, this game too has CBT. Apparently on hard mode, this boss is a nightmare. Damn. Oh, I'm losing them treasure chests for sure. God damn it, I keep yeeting in the wrong direction. Vinny, what did you yeet for dinner? Yeetza. Vinny, how much pizza do you eat a week? I try not to eat too much, but... Lately, it's been kind of crazy, because... I've been doing the, uh, the, my, my own pizza reviews... ...mentally. Just play a couple mini-games just for a second. Kern time? What do you mean, kern time? Time to grind. oh, 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 grind for some kern. Well, I'm just gonna get two. This is, like, the essential RPG experience. Like, boiled down to its bare... ...essentials. Can't defeat the boss, go grind for a bit. Again, I think I know how to do the boss fight now, kind of. It's annoying, but just a little extra help would be nice. How much damage does it do? One damage. That was not worth my time. Two? It did two damage? Okay, still not still not worth it. I had some people actually. Possibly ironically, possibly non-ironically, tell me that my crystal- my, um, Eminem impression was in Eminem's new song. Like, Vinny, why is- why is your Blapkins meme in Eminem's new song? I'm like, uh, it's not mine. Oh, I must have hit that. A pi one pixel. One pixel. I- I hate this boss. Bye, chests. Yeah, so that means- I, that means I have to do this boss fight again, right? Couldn't even die properly. I really don't want to grind. People are telling me which items to get. I don't feel like grinding. Hit the mouse, but don't make contact with the bear. Okay. This is it. I got it. Perfect yeet. Okay, okay, I see. I got three that time. All right! I was just kidding. I knew what I was doing that whole time. I have to fight the plant again, too. I do, yes. Can I do that now? Or do I have to wait until whenever? Oh, 
Oh my god. So this is timed from the beginning. This is not excellent. The actor Keanus Reeves would be very upset with me because of how unexcellent that was. They all want me dead. Vinny, do you think Wario drinks pineapple juice? I think Wario's very virile. Waluigi's the one who's barren. That's not... I, why can't I climb onto that? Jump up from the bottom area? Vinny, just spring. Go up! Go up! Metal! There we go, now we gotta jump. Wow, this is terrible. I'm not doing well. Hopefully they give me enough time for this. You have lots of time. Super hard mode is three minutes. Shit. Like, everything you've learned must be applied now. You want me to go left? What, like this way? Left is bad. Oh. Oh yeah, I hit some, like, severe tunnel vision there. Someone said you're doing, like, five blinds per second. That's a new record. Someone said, man, Vinny, if chat wasn't here. No, dude! Streaming makes you stupid. It really does. It, it, like, I would eventually get it. I might die once and then eventually get it, but... I mean, try it if you haven't. We got this. Just gotta go back to the beginning. Going to swim. And got it. Three minutes must be a fun time on that level. I'm just gonna go for the final boss. One missing treasure chest. God damn it. Wait, can I get that still? Yes, if you die. Once you win, yes. Okay. I'll need to pause this for a second. I'm doing my, um, pre-game yoga. That's a really good incentive. Show the player a cat throughout the whole game. Never explain what it's for, and then have it abducted at the last second. That makes me want to fight the boss. This thing looks like, um, the... Oh god, what's its name? From Final Fantasy VI. Ultros! <laughs> I'M STILL WORTHY! What the fuck, man? I'm trying to hit myself. I keep grabbing it instead of hitting myself. <laughs> I just hit myself as good as I'm gonna hit myself. What is this game mechanic? Don't jump. Oh, someone told me distinctly to jump. That took fucking forever. It's for the best. Just let it happen. Let it happen! That could, in and of itself, be a highlight of fail. Like, if someone does a top 10 fail moments in Wario for Vinesaw stream, that would be 1 through 10. All right there. Bruh, no, the chest. Apparently you can't get the chest until you defeat. I don't even know if that's true. And again, I don't always know what's true in chat. They're just names on an internet. Sometimes people are like, no, trust me, Vin, it's your old pal. Um, Clussy... Clussy Fuck 49. I'm like, oh, that's a cool name. 
No, I, I've, I've known Klossy Fuck for a long time. Good lad. Yes. Yes, very, very fast this time. The precision required to get this thing to hit you in your own head is not actually that precise at all, but... I got it now. Alright, 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 alright. Coming to now just all at once, whatever. Free for all, have fun. Okay! And that is a really weird face. That's a Troll 2 face. That is definitely one of the masks from Troll 2. You can't fool me. Mental. Cool fucking boss fight. Shame I didn't get that last chest. Cat's alive. Cat can continue its life. Selling items. Just to barely squeak by, you know, paying for an apartment that you can't afford, really. And only to one person at that. Mario is the only... the only person interested in the cat's wares. A cameo from the animals from Super Metroid would be nice right about now. Or like Samus running in the opposite direction. It's a little too cheeky, though. I guess Wario saved the animal. One. It was never a cat. It was a princess. I guess the cat doesn't need to sell items anymore. Thank you, Wario. Why would you kiss Wario? Wario kissed a cat. It was a cat girl. It appeared on his doorstep. I'm, I'm glad that Wario got a little... little thank you kiss. Good for him. Mario and Luigi are the always... are, are always the brothers that are getting that. Wario... You know, he's... he's... heroic. When it comes to a large sum of cash. Lyrics? Pretty fucking sweet. I like this game a lot. This was a game that earned its reputation. I had uh, always heard about how good it was. And uh, playing through it, I can see it still holds up. It's a fun, kind of smart game, surprisingly, for Wario. Not that he had bad games, but... Yeah, it's dopey, weird, wacky, and it's it's just a good game. Then you gotta YouTube the other endings. I'll, I'll YouTube them. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to go back and fight that boss. I don't really care. I'll just uh, check them out. So, Wario will continue with Wario sh uh, Shake It. Wario Land Shake It, whatever it's called. Not anytime soon, but I think that will be a good Wario stream for the future. What about Master of Disguise? Well, I mean, you could easily say, what about all the other Wario games, too? But for now, I'm gonna stick with Shake It. And then, uh, see where it goes from there. But, it'll be a while from now. I like to mix it up. You know, like, do a Wario game every, like, four or five months. Do a Zelda game every, like, six months to a year. You know, you, you gotta rotate your Marios, Warios, Zeldies, and, uh, Troids. I don't know why, at this point in my life, I've acquired three duck buttons. But it's a, you know, it's a cool thing to, sh to show people. Like, hey, check out- <clears throat> ah! Like, hey, check out this duck game. By the way, I have three duck buttons. It's like a party trick. I guess I probably- No, I wouldn't have a duck as a pet. I feel like some people could do that. I couldn't do that. But I would visit a duck that someone else had as a pet. That would be my- my goal. Yeah, I don't need a duck shitting all over my apartment. As cute as they are. Alright, well, I don't need a duck shitting all over my, like, outside. <laughs> I'd still, 
it's not just the shit, too, it's the... the stuff leading to the shit. I'd forget to feed the duck. And it would, like, quack angrily at me. New cat? I'm happy that cat survived. Because that will be a really dark ending for a Nintendo game. Uncharacteristically so. David and Dan would probably write an ending like that. And then the cat is killed by Wario. What? Steaks, eat as much as you can. If you continue with this save data, every boss will be revived. Start over and try to get all 12 treasures. I got a steak ending. Weird game. Yeah, like, why does the game say State 2 saved? You know what I mean? Like, what kind of weird post-ending credit scene is that? Strange. I don't know what it means. Just a bunch of random weirdness, probably, because it's Wario. We're gonna take a look at this, uh, ending video. So they escape. Um, same thing. Princess again. This is a different princess. The fuck? Someone said hotter princess, but, but... But... He's into more mature princesses. Oh, okay, he's into the cougars. Remember, Wario's only 17 years old. <laughs> Yes, I am my bit child, that's right. Why do you look so old, Wario? What do you know? Aunt Bertrude. I- what now? The what's this now? Vinny, show the kiss. Oh, okay. I like that it almost morphs into one of the other princesses. <laughs> it tricks you for a second, and then this. <laughs> And then there's one more, there's one more. That- that looked like Aunt Bertrude. That was Aunt Bertrude, I think. Excuse me, what? What the fuck is this? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. So this is weird. Um, all of these endings are weird. And I think we saw all of them, right? It's just those four? Here I was thinking that at the end of the game, Wario was gonna have like a nice big house. And like, he was gonna have, you know, all his riches. He was gonna save up and buy like a golden mansion, or a shack, or like an apartment building, Waluigi's apartment. Nope. It's either it's steak and kisses from no. Then you're thinking of Wario World, which I am. I did stream that, but I figured maybe there was some similarity here. Um, steak happens regardless, so that's good. Wario is always into that, I think. Right. Well then, that is Wario Land Four. Good game, weird game. I enjoy. I would like to play Wario when uh, Wario game shake it at some point. <laughs> but not anytime soon. So I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, it's, it's just something that I figured would be a fun stream for a little while.